Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video we are going to create a tropical island by using Gaia and Unreal Engine 5. By combining Unreal Engine 5 and Gaia we are going to create this. I'll show you how easily you can create this island by using Gaia. After we've created the island in Gaia, we're going to use my auto material that I've created from my previous video. If you missed it, go back into my channel and watch the video. The video is a little bit longer. It is three hours of creating this auto landscape material from scratch. By joining to my YouTube membership, you're gonna have access to everything that I do. You're gonna have access to this auto landscape material. You're gonna have access to different videos that I specially created for my YouTube members with more in-depth knowledge and everything that I'm going to create in the future and my channel will be available for download to my YouTube members. So if you want to speed up your development process and download all the things that I'm creating, you can join my YouTube membership and become a member of this wonderful community. So let's open Gaia and start creating the island. All right, everybody. So we're gonna create an island using Gaia. And right now, thanks to the Gaia developers, I've got my hand on Pro License for Gaia and I'm able to export in high resolution to Unreal Engine 5. So let's start creating simple island in Gaia. The first thing that I did is I hit the new button and I've created a blank project over here. Of course, here you have a lot of presets and you can, for example, open this landscape and see these deep furrows, all right? And you can analyze there how they've made this deep furrows or desert scape and you can find out how you can create it yourself by analyzing the graph over here if you open this project. So let me open this project, wait a little bit, and here you have the graph over here. If you want to create something like this, you can analyze this block by block and see how they did it. But right now I'm gonna create an island. So click new, and we're gonna start with a mountain. So I'm gonna hit tap on my keyboard and search for mountain. All right, I'm gonna select this mountain and I'm gonna tweak a few things for my mountain. I'm gonna put for my scale around 79, 79, all right. I'm gonna have my edges at 0 0.07, all right. I'm gonna check out the bulk and I'm gonna put for my height 46. Let's put 46, all right. And for my seat, I'm going to put 11310. Hit enter. And this is the mountain that I'm going to use for my island. But right now, my island is taking all the space over here. And what I want over here is to create here at this space something like a seabed. All right. And how you can do that is if you use a transform tool. I can take this shape, this mountain shape, and shrink it down in the middle. I can say what the scale will be compared to the plane, all right? So I'm gonna search for a transform node, transform. I'm gonna put it over here, and I'm gonna connect my mountain to my transform. And for my transform node, I want 60% of this mountain to be in the center, so I put 60%. And right now, I'm just scaling it down with for minus 40%. And this looks more like an island. And I'm creating a simple island. Of course, you can go crazy and use a lot of geo primitives and create something very crazy and special. But I'm just touching the surface over here, how to create a simple island that looks pretty good. And the next step is I need to add a little bit of erosion over here. So I'm gonna hit tab, I'm gonna search for erosion. And I'm going to connect my transform to my erosion. So I start getting some erosion over here, but I want to tweak the parameters. The first thing is I'm going to put 18 for my duration. And I'm going to 
put all the way up my rock stiffness and my strength all the way to uh, 100. Then for the area effect of the selective processing, I'm going to click on the drop down and I'm going to select precipitation amount, this one. And I'm going to tweak the bias to 86. All right. Now we have some erosion over here, but I want to apply the changes. Right now we don't see anything. But before applying the changes, I want to put a specific seed, which is 55796. I hit enter. And this is the setup for my erosion. Click apply. And I've eroded my island. But right now this is not looking too good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit auto level. And now I'm going to level this up with my build settings. So I'm going to go to build. And here in the terrain definition, I'm going to put 200 meters for my height. And I'm going to make it 2 kilometers. So 2000. All right. So I have this little island over here. And the final thing that we need to add is C. But before that, I want to level up my mountain too. So I'm going to select my block. And this is pretty flat. So I'm going to click auto level. So I can raise it up to the uh, resolution that I put over here for the height. I'm going to click erosion. And finally, I will add a C node. So I'm going to tap over here, search for C, select the C, and I'm going to connect my erosion to my C. And here we have the C over here, and I'm going to make a few changes. The first thing is I'm going to boost up my resolution here to 2K, because why not? I have perfectly good hardware for it. And now you can see my island in more HD, all right? And here in the C, I'm going to tweak a few things. First, I'm going to tweak the level of the C, which will be 1%. So I can get out a little bit more uh, beach over here. As you can see, when you hook up the C, it creates a shoreline over here, which is typical for islands. And here I have a little bump over here, which I can fix in Unreal Engine if I want to, or I can make a little rocks over here, like a separate little island. But right now it looks good. And let's tweak a little bit the shore size and shore height. So I'm going to put for my shore size 21. And for my height, I'm going to put 57, changing a little bit the height of the island. If you want a little more defined, uh, sandy beaches and for the variation i'm gonna put 96 i'm gonna put uniform variation morphing and extra cliff details this is pretty basic and pretty simple island but it looks pretty good and now what's left for us is to export this island to unreal ng5 so i go to build settings i select the method normal i go to the resolution and here we have unreal and i have 8k and I'm just going to use the 8K because I have Gaia Pro, thanks to the developers. After I choose the resolution, I'm going to right click on this node and mark for export. And I'm marking that this C will, node will be exported, combining all the previous nodes. And I'm going to select PNG. Then you need to select the build destination. I select my island folder, click select folder and hit the button start build and the process of building your terrain will start. All right, so the island part was not that difficult, but I used simple notes in order to create this island pretty fast. But I suggest you try more different stuff in Gaia and try to create something more advanced by using different notes. Just play a little bit with the Gaia settings and if you want, you can create something more advanced than my island. Now let's continue on with the Unreal Engine 5 part. So guys, this is what I've achieved with my tropical island. As you can see, we have Pretty nice water, we have pretty good sand with a little bit of breakup here. We have these rocks, those cliffs, we have those palm trees, we have some foliages and it looks pretty, pretty good. Let me just show you how here the sand blends with the rocks and I've spawned some rock object over here. I have a little bit of fern over here. And everything has LODs, that's why it's popping out like that. But this is good for my performance and it runs pretty smooth. And I have those palm trees. And if I go here, look at that view. Pretty nice, pretty good looking. And in the far end, you can uh, set up the LODs to be billboards, not to disappear uh, completely. This is something that you can change. Like as you can see here, 
it, this pound is disappearing for me but you can set it up to to be a billboard all right and if i progress through my island you can see different patterns this is all created by gaia and my master material this look pretty nice so let me show you how you can achieve that i'm gonna file and create a new level i'm gonna go with a basic one i'm gonna hit create and right now i'm gonna delete this plane and the first thing that we need to do is we need to import the landscape that we've created from Gaia. So I'm going to go to landscape. I'm going to choose import from file. The file that I want over here is c.png. I'm going to select it. I'm going to hit OK. And right now I need to set up the scale. So first I have my height map resolution, which is 8K, which is pretty good. And for the scale for the Z axis, which is Y. I'm going to put 200 and for my landscape size is I have 2000 meters and I need to multiply it by 100 and I need to divide it by the resolution which is 8129 all right so I have 24.6 for my scale 24.6 24.6 all right and I'm gonna hit import once I've imported my height map, you are unable to see it. So what you need to do is go to selection and disable your exponential height clock. And let's go all the way down to my island. And this is the island that I've created. All right. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty detailed. Check out the detail over here. 8K is a very good resolution for your landscape. And we have our landscape over here ready. The next thing that you need to do is we need to create the ocean. How you can create the ocean is go to edit, click on plugins and search for water. When you find water, you need to check this out. So check this uh, box and Unreal will want to reset. So you hit OK, restart my Unreal Engine. And when you restart your Unreal Engine, the water plugin will work. After that, you need to go to quick and search for ocean and drag and drop the water body ocean over here onto your terrain. Wait a little bit. And if you want to change the ocean and how you can flood your island, you can just tweak the landscape over here. So right now it is 51370. If I put here zero, my island, my landscape will go down and the ocean will flood most of the island. Let me just wait a little bit. And here you can see that I flood the island. I've changed the water over here. So I'm gonna bring it back because I've set up my ocean shore. And right now I don't have a beach site over here, which I want to have. All right, so right now it's looking pretty good. But the shader is pretty bad and here i have a little bit of a bump over here and i can fix this by going to sculpt selecting the scope tool and holding shift on my keyboard to push it a little bit back keep in mind that you can sculpt on the terrain it doesn't matter that it has a height map and right now i've created a little depth over here so now you have the idea how to import the height map into Unreal Engine 5 and how you can place your ocean. And you can tweak the parameters of the ocean and you can position your island based on the Z axis over here, the Z positioning, and see what suits you better. And right now everything looks pretty ugly. The terrain is pretty ugly. And I've created an instance from my landscape auto material which I'm going to use on my landscape and we are going to break it down how I've created it. So I'm going to select my landscape, go into the landscape material. Right now I have a completely empty material and this is my instance. So I'm going to drag and drop my island landscape material and everything will start to look pretty just by simply drag and drop everything. So this is my landscape material and see how everything lit up and you have this island feel and let me everything load up a little bit and if i hit play over here my character will spawn and everything will spawn over here and we have this island pretty good island i've placed this uh hut over here 
we have uh, this ocean I've created I've sculpted a little bit on the ocean so we can have a depth over here you can see the blue over there like it's uh, deeper the water is deeper over there you can do that by sculpting onto your terrain and we have the sand we have the palms and what I need to do is I need to show you right now how I've uh, modified my auto landscape material in order to get this this beauty all right so let's start so this is my material and I've just right click on my landscape auto material and create material instance and I just name it MI Island. So let me open it and show you all the settings over here. Again, this material will be accessible to my YouTube members. So if you want straightforward to get this material and just modify it slightly, I highly suggest you join my YouTube membership and get the material. So I'm using the snow here for my grass and I didn't rename my layer to grass I keep it to snow but you can go into your landscape auto material and rename it if you want to so I'm using the snow as my grass so this will be the top of my island and here I pluck uh, grass textures so this is the texture from Quixel wild mossy grass this is uh, the code for it if you want to search it and the normal map so I'm using the snow and I'm using all the parameters. So the snow mask multiplier 80. I use the snow mask power of 10. The slope is 4 and the snow position is 205. Those are the settings that I tweak in order to get this pretty nice and cool effect. All right. The intensity of the normal is 10 and the snow edge mask UVs are 1024. Let me show you the color D4E282F. This is the color for uh, my grass in order to correct it. All right, pretty good looking. They blend pretty good with uh, here the sand and the rock. I disable the water over here because I'm using ocean and I don't want any puddles over here. The next is my dirt. As the dirt is the second layer, I use it for sand. So I downloaded this Trump Beach sand over here. And I just put it into my dirt slot. Of course, you can go to your master material and rename this as sand. All right. The next is grass. So I blend this dirt with this grass. And I just have the same sand, but with different settings. All right. So I can create variation in my sand over here. You see how it doesn't look repetitive over here. I have big, I have some small details over here. And that is how I break it up. So I'm using the dirt and the grass with the same texture but different uh, settings over here as you can see here we have dirt slope power of 10 we have the grass slope power of 3.49 and here the dirt far multiplier is 1000 the dirt near is 0 0.5 and for my grass again 1001 because i want it to be a little bit bigger all right and I use the same texture as in the dirt moving further the stones those are the stones from my original material and I just slightly modify the color so it can fit into tropical paradise mood, you know. And let me show you the hex code F4E2C2F. This is the color corrected uh, code of my stones. I'm using this rock cliff. This is again the code that you can uh, put in Quixel Bridge and search for it. And I've modified a little bit the slow power, the stone's normal intensity. And the next are the rocks. And again, I'm using the same trick as I used in the grass. I'm using the same texture with some different parameters. As you can see here for the rock UV near multiplier, here I'm using 0 0.3, here I'm using 1. And I'm just breaking up everything over here so we can have big and small. Let me just show you how it looks. Two, four, here pretty repetitive, one pretty repetitive. That's why I'm using 0.3 in order to create these uh, differences in the rocks. So this is how I blend the same texture, but with two different uh, settings. And it gives you this nice feel of breakup in your rocks. All right. And the finally, I use the landscape variations with the settings landscape size. I have this size. The normal intensity is one and the normal intensity for variation is 0 
I also tweak up the roughness power to zero because I don't want roughness onto my terrain and the roughness multiplier is 0 0.5. So this is so far about the master material, what I did. The next step is how I spawn those foliages over here. And if I go to my auto material for my procedures, I can open my stones. And here I have the stones connected from my tundra. This is from my uh, uh, video of auto material. And here are the stones that I spawn over here. So I have plugged in the stones, the 3D object here, with a grass density of uh, 150 and the scale size of 0 0.1 to 0 0.3. And I just spawn randomly stones across the rock layer over here. You can see some stones. And of course, I also color corrected. So I opened the shader and color corrected the albedo. This is the color correction, 98ADAD. This is the color that fits my rocks. And I use this albedo tint and a little bit of albedo controls, which is the contrast of 0 0.74 and brightness 2.0 and saturation 0 0.51. So this is how I get this. And I plug it into my stone layer. All right, so good so far. And finally, I need to show you the magic of the foliages. And as I mentioned before, I'm using the snow layer in order to get my grass over here at the top of my island. So I'm going to double click on my snow. And here I have a lot of things that I spawn. First, I have those uh, palms. I have those palms created in Speed 3, which is another program. And those pounds will be accessible for my YouTube members, but you can get any pounds from internet or buy them from any marketplace. But if you want the exact pounds that I'm using, you can join my uh, YouTube membership. So I've plugged here this cluster of pounds. Let me show you how they look. So this is the cluster of pounds, all right, created in uh, Speed Tree. And I've plugged them over here with the grass density of 10. And I've changed the scale from 0 0.8 to 2 so I can have small and big pounds. All right. This is my first layer. I have a second layer with some tropical palm over here. Those are from Quixel. So you can download them from Quixel with this code. Search for this code and you can download it. So I've put some uh, ferns over here in order to cover the ground. The next is the same one but with different min and max. And I've put one more over here from this one, the third one, with a little bit more density. And I have one more palm over here, which is a single palm in order to break up the cluster. All right, so we can have bigger palms. And it is from one to three, the min and max scale. So we can have this big, bigger palms, all right? So those are my big palms, all right? And I've put a little branches over here onto my uh, lower here, some branches. And my final index is a little bit of wild grass. Of course, you can add a lot more procedures over here in order to break this up even more. But this looks pretty nice. And this is how I've created this island by combining Gaia and my auto material, modifying the auto material and create this paradise. And of course, using the ocean plugin. So before I end this video, I want to walk around this island. Here you can see that everything looks pretty good. Let me go to the sea. All right, we have this pretty nice beach and we have a lot of breakups over here. Of course, you can tweak my auto material and add more layers and make it more complex and have better blendings. We have those pounds popping out and you can enable the billboards in order if you want not to pop out like this. But here I have huge performance, pretty good performance when, I, uh, when they pop out like that. And you can see everything is pretty cool. And we are getting into the jungle over here, into the island jungle. We have a lot of foliages here and the FPS is like a butter when you have your LODs enabled. And when you go to the higher ground, you can see everything so beautiful. You can see some breakups in my uh, ocean over there. Some more blue colors, like looking deeper. 
some breakups over here. And of course, you can download a lot of stuff from Quixo Bridge and place them across your island and make your game. Make some animals, maybe chop some trees, etc. And this is my living place. All right, let's go over here. I have a beach over there. So this is pretty much how I've created this island in no time by using Gaia and my auto material. And before I end up this video, I want to let you know that I've created a Blueprints Masterclass for Unreal Engine 5. It is available right now on Udemy. So if you want to expand your knowledge and not just only create art pieces in Unreal Engine 5, but create some characters, create some game logic, my course is the perfect solution from beginners to intermediate Unreal Engine 5 users. The course itself is 15 hours long and it has all the foundation that you need to kickstart your blueprint knowledge in Unreal Engine 5. So if you want to keep evolving yourself beyond just creating art in Unreal Engine 5, enroll now. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope I gave you some knowledge. And finally, if you want to support me to keep creating videos like this, join my YouTube membership. And in addition, you will be able to download all my working files. To all the people that already joined my YouTube membership, thank you so much for supporting me and this channel. Happy game development all. I see you in my next video. I'm out.